If you have a laptop or a smartphone, I will show you on how you can create amazing kids education videos in three easy steps. These are videos that will keep on being watched each and every time when kids want to learn something. Imagine you want to educate kids on vegetables. What you can simply do is you can come to ChatGPT. Once you're on ChatGPT, you can tell it to give you a list of 100 vegetables. And once ChatGPT is done giving you a list of 100 different vegetables, what you simply have to do is to come to Canva. So once you're on Canva, you can come to where it says create a design. From there, what you have to do is to scroll down to where it says YouTube thumbnail. And once the blank canvas opens up, what you simply have to do is come to where it says element to your left. Once elements opens up, what you have to do from there is to come back to ChatGPT, copy the first vegetable that it gave you and come back to Canva and paste the name of that vegetable here in the search bar and search for that vegetable. From there, come to where it says graphics. And once graphic opens up, click on the vegetable that you like. And once it's on the design page, what you want to do from there is to increase the size of your vegetable to like that. And once that is done, what you need to do is place it at the center. And once that is done, come to text and click on any of these designs like that. And again, paste in the name of your fruit like that. And once that is done from there, you want to come to fonts and choose the font style that you want. And from there, what you need to do is to increase the size up to that much. So once that is done, what you need to do is to click on the next page and go back to ChatGPT, copy the next a vegetable, come back to Canva and select elements and search for that vegetable as well. Again, come to graphics. You can scroll down to the bottom and choose a vegetable that pleases your eyes or that you feel and think will be suitable for your video. In this tutorial, I'll select this one. I'll rotate it a bit like that and I'll place this vegetable here and I'll also add a name. I'll come to text and I'll paste my name like that and I'll change the font style to something like this and I'll increase my size to something like that. Again, I'll click on add page and I'll go back to ChatGPT. I'll copy the next vegetable and I'll again, I'll come back to Canva and I'll go to elements again and I'll search for that vegetable which I've copied in ChatGPT. Again, I'll go back to graphics and select this one like that. And again, I'll go back to text and we'll select add text like that. And we'll paste the name of the vegetable like that. And again, we'll go back to fonts and we'll choose the font style like that. And we'll increase the size. Excellent. And once you're done creating all the images for your vegetables, what you have to do is come to share and click on download and make sure that you download them as PNG file and make sure that all the pages are selected. So click on download. So since you downloaded a lot of them at once, they will come in a WinRAR zip archive. So what you have to do is click on that same file and select option and extract from here and just click on yes to all and your files will be extracted like that. From there, what you need to do is go back to the homepage of Canva and select a video. And once the video opens up in a blank canvas, just like this, what we want to do is come to where it says apps and from there, search for speed painter so select speed painter like that and to select this one from there what we need to do is to click here where it says choose a file so select this one the first one and we'll click on open and here it says a sketch duration we'll leave the sketch duration to something like five seconds and the color field duration will leave it to three seconds which means our entire video for this image alone will be eight seconds from there we'll click on generate so once your video is animated like that, what you want to do is click on where it says add to design. What you want to do is to increase the size of your design so that it fills the screen like that. From there, click on where it says add page and come here where it says go back. And from there, we'll delete this image and we'll upload the second image, which is this one. We'll click on open and we'll leave the settings to the way they are just like that. We'll just click on generate. And once it finished generating our video, we'll click on add to design. From there, we'll make sure that our video fills the screen by increasing its size like that. Perfect. Again, we'll click on add to page and we'll keep on repeating this process until we are done with all our videos. Now that you're done converting all your images into stunning animated videos, from there, what you're supposed to do is add a voiceover that explains what each vegetable is to the kids or to the viewers out there. So to do that, we can go back to ChatGPT and from there we can copy the entire list of all the vegetables that we have. From there, we can come to 11 Labs, which is one of the best text to speech AI tool that I highly recommend. 
you'll find the link in the description below. Just come to speech. Once you're on speech, what you want to do is paste in the list of your vegetables there. Now, one most important thing I would love to show you is this. I would love you to punctuate your list by adding in some commas to make sure that each word is separated as the AI tool will be generating your text into an audio. So once that is done, I would love you to add also numbers to each vegetable by simply writing number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five up to the last word. And once that is done, you can also add a little introduction to your lesson. You just don't want to cruise to say number one, this, number two, this. But you want to add in a little introduction to your lesson so that it grabs the attention and the mindset of the viewer. And the simple introduction that I've written says, Hello, little nutritionist. Today we would learn about different type of vegetables. So now what you have to do is come to this box here and choose a voiceover that you prefer will be good enough for your video. And once that is done, you can come to where it says generate speech and your speech will be generated. Hello, little nutritionist. And if you're happy with your sound, all you have to do is click on this button here which says download and your audio will be downloaded. So what I would love you to do from there is you need to go back to Canva like that. And once you're on Canva, all you have to do is upload your audio here by just going to your folder where the audio is and come back to Canva and drag your audio like that. And your audio will be pasted into Canva like that, as simple as that. And once that is done, what you're supposed to do is click on your audio like that. And what I need you to do is to listen to your audio. Hello, little nutritionist. Today, we will learn about different types of vegetables. Number one, artichoke. So here where it says artichoke, what we simply have to do is to split the audio sound like that. Click on split and here where it says number one, we'll click on split like that. So since this audio here represents the introduction, what we can simply do is we can add a page like that and we can drag the page to the first line like that. And once that is done, all we have to do is get our audio and move it to the second vegetable like that and we'll get the second audio for artichoke and we'll place it here at the center like that. From here, what you simply have to do is to listen to it again. Number two, arugula. Okay, so here where it says arugula, what we simply have to do is we'll split again like that and we'll drag our audio like that to the third vegetable and we'll click on the audio for arugula and we'll place it there at the center like that. Again, we'll listen to the third vegetable and we'll split just like that. So once you are done from there, what you need to do is on this introduction part, you need to add in something interesting that will catch the attention of your viewers, which you can simply design yourself or you can come to elements and you can search for something interesting. Let's say vegetables, something like that, which is very perfect, amazing. And once that is done, all I'm asking you to do is come while you're still in elements, search for an audio sound that will blend everything together like that. And if you've reached this far in this video, all I'm asking is hit the like button and it will really mean a lot for us. You can search for kids music and you can scroll like that and click on where it says audio. And all these are different type of audios that you can use in your project. And once it's clicked, you can click on the audio sound like that and you can come to this speaker icon here and you can reduce the, the background sound up to that much. From there, you can listen to it. If you're happy on how everything looks and how everything sounds, all you have to do is come to where it says share and you can download your video by clicking on this download button and make sure that MP4 video is selected and just click on download and your video will be downloaded into your PC. If you found value in this video, subscribe to our channel because more value awaits you. Let me show you how the final product looks. So I'm just going to enlarge my screen like that. Hello, little nutritionist. Today, we will learn about different types of vegetables. Number one, artichoke. Number two, arugula. Number three, asparagus. Number four, beetroot. Okay, this just stopped like that. You can check out other videos on our channel on how you can create amazing educational content that adds value to the lives of the people. God bless you. See you in this next video.